Hey, so this morning we're doing a special video mm -hmm. for all of my friends at USANA. Will you help me do it? Yeah. Thank you very much. This is my beautiful, beautiful grandson, Tom. I love him. Now, do you like Vegemite? No. Okay. Have a smell. I, this will change your mind. Smell it. Yeah. <laughs> now look, it's got B1, B2, B3. This is an Australian part of the Australian staple diet. Mmm, yum. Oh. Anyway, it's really good, isn't it? And, uh, I mean, we've got all of those in our USANA vitamins, don't we? Uh-huh. That's right. Anyway, so um, I'm going to make a Vegemite Delight. And how does that sound? Yuck. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Thomas. <laughs> Tom, you want to try it? Oh, mmm, yum, that was good. Mmm, mwah, forgot to say sorry. This is the We Are USANA Video Series 2020. Hosted by Chief Sales Officer David Mullum. Episode four starts now. Can you believe this is our fourth week together? It's um, been pretty exciting. Great journey to be on with you. One of the things that I've been doing while I've been you know, locked in, I always um, send a little Marco Polo to the CEO and chairman, Kevin Guest, and I always send him the first part of a bad dad joke. And so... Um, just let me get Kevin here. Kevin, what did the big bucket say to the little bucket? We'll just wait for his response. I'll just put that down. In the meantime, here's another bad dad joke. And um, this is one of my favorites. What did the cobbler say when a cat wandered into his shop? Shoo. <laughs> That's so bad, isn't it? Anyway, sorry. Last week we heard from Kevin, Dr. Wentz and Prudence, and Dr. Sinnott gave us a really awesome glimpse into the future of what USANA's research and development team is working on. This week is all about you. Um, today we are talking to several USANA associates who will share their experiences in dealing with the past several months, discussing how they've tackled uh, the challenges and really found some silver linings and continue to develop and grow. So up first, our Executive Vice President of Sales for Asia Pacific, the wonderful, the entertaining Sherman Ying is joining us with several leaders from the Asia Pacific region for a candid conversation. Over to you, Sherman. Hello, David. It's good to see you, even though it's through the video. As I have been talking to our distributors here in Asia Pacific region, I'm also honestly a little surprised by the positivity. The world has experienced something completely different. And it has been extremely tough for so many, so many people. But our sales team have a way of hurting those changes and come out the other side. Tougher, more resolve, and more positive. And we have actually seen quite a bit grow. And I want you to hear how they are doing it. So let me introduce you the executive six star diamond director from Korea, Kwang Yong Jin, diamond director from Australia, Ellen Fu, from the Philippines, diamond director, Dr. Edu. Hey. Hello, everyone, how are you? Amazing, Sherman, amazing. That's good. It's so good to see you. Okay, we can see everyone from the from the Australia, from Philippines, from Korea. It's amazing. Okay, uh, any of you, any one of you, still in quarantine or being asked to social distance? Yeah, I think we do. We have a little bit uh, at the moment. Uh, it's getting a lot better though right now, but we're still at home and enjoying life at home. 어 한국은 한 4개월 동안 힘들었었는데 지금 사회적인 거리 두기를 하고 있고 지금 점차 사업을 시작할 수 있는 야외 활동이나 이런 것들을 어, 개인 위생 지켜가면서 하고 있습니다. So in the Philippines we're still on lockdown here. I think the government has a plan to 
put it in general community quarantine, which means it's going to be a lot better, okay, in the Philippines. So we're really looking forward to that. Good, good, good to hear that. Okay. I think the associate, all associate, they, they really want to know, know, what has been the hardest part of this widespread quarantine? The hardest part was from the beginning, I for one, didn't use online presentation and never had that experience before. I had no choice, I had to adapt. So I'm just glad because things now are getting so normal when it comes to online presentation. The hardest thing about this quarantine, I think, has been not being able to be physical with my team. You know, because we're young, we love having fun, we have games nights, we go out together, we hang out. And now all of a sudden we can't do that anymore. But at the same time, it's also been a blessing in disguise because now we can involve all of our team members from Melbourne, from Brisbane, from the USA. And we've been able to you know, interact and spend more time with our team members that we normally don't spend enough time with because now we're all in this big online community together. That's a great, great experience, okay? As a leader, no, you're always so positive, we always try to find ways to solve the issues. So I think our associate, because we're talking about it's not only the crisis, it's, only, it's also the, an opportunity. So can you share with us how they are being anything? Has there any, anything Good about it. I was talking with my leaders and we all realized one thing that yes, this business can be done 100% online because we never did it before. We learned how to cope with the situation, to be adaptable, to be resilient, to be agile. We learned all these skills, this mindset, and we're just so thankful for that. This entire situation has been a very strong catalyst for a lot of people to take not only their health seriously, but to take their finances seriously, but just to take their business seriously as well. I think the biggest learning experience for me um, during this entire time is we are actually capable of doing much more than we believe we were. We've been able to have a bigger impact than what we used to have before. Um, and we've been able to do it much faster as well. So that's been really, really exciting for me and my team. 어 미팅을 꼭 연대면이 아니라 온라인으로 할수 있다는 걸 배운 거 그리고 또 어, 트레이닝을 하는 것도 전국의 전 세계 누구라도 한 시간을 통해서 수십 명 수백 명을 내가 교육할 수 있다는 것도 배웠던 것 같고요 그리고 마지막으로 어 제가 자기를 관리하거나 개발하거나 배우는 시간이 굉장히 필요한데 그동안에는 어, 바쁘다는 이유로 많이 못, 했, 못 했던 것들을 이 시간 안에서 어떻게 하면 나를 발전시킬 수 있을까를 고민할 수 있는 그런 타이밍이었던 것 같아요. 마찬가지로 저희 파트너들도 어, 어떻게 해야 될지 잘 모르겠는 이 상황을 어떻게 하면 잘 쪼개서 쓸수 있는지를 알려줄 수 있었고 어, 이 위기 안에서도 조금 더 나를 채워가거나 그리고 발전시킬 수 있는 방법의 기회로 삼을 수 있게끔 가이드 해줬던 것 같아요. I just uh, really appreciate what you have sharing with, uh, with us. And the one thing I want to share with you is the sales in Asia Pacific in the first quarter. If we compare the same, same period last year, our sales has grown by 6%, more than 6% in Asia Pacific region. Okay, for instance, Hong Yongjin, Hong Yongjin advanced to six-star diamond director in the first quarter during this period. How are you finding the ways to grow your business? 어 저는 상황은 항상 변수가 있다고 생각하거든요. 그런데 제가 가지고 있는 목표나 기준만 명확하다고 하면 그 상황에서도 어떻게든 어려움 안에서도 해답을 찾을 수 있다고 생각하는 사람이에요. 그동안 힘들지 않았던 순간은 없었거든요. 그렇지만 그 안에서도 제가 계획한 목표대로 하려고 끊임없이 노력했던 것 같아요. For a lot of us, with technically born on social media, right? Like we live on social media. And so the question is, how do you monetize that screen time? You know, instead of endless scrolling into actual meaningful messaging and how do we actually prospect? How do we find new customers? How do we find new associates? How do we connect with team members better? And so during this crisis, it's been really interesting to use social media as a tool. How do we connect with these 2.5 billion people that are on Facebook right now at home who are probably bored because they're in lockdown and don't know what else to do? I mean, I'm looking at my house. We've already renovated the backyard. We've built a deck. You know, we've cleaned the whole entire house maybe six times already. Um, what else can we do at home? And so it's like, 
how can we interest all these people out there who have nothing else to do? How do we go and help these people? Because ultimately, that's what we want to do in our business is provide values, provide value to others and, you know, go and help and serve them, right? And create the healthiest family on earth. So far, I think the most effective way in growing my business in the Philippines right now is through collaboration. For instance, I got Alan Fu no, to talk to my team and uh, the rest of uh, other leaders in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in Thailand, and of course, other cross line leaders in the Philippines. So this is really so amazing. So collaboration, I realize, is really a perfect strategy. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Edu, uh, Kong Yong Ji, and uh, Alan. And uh, keep up the great work. We sure appreciate you, okay? Thank you very much for your sharing. Debbie, my friend, take it away. Here's another bad dad joke. Hey, David, how about this one? My son Brandon always asks me, Dad, can you put my shoes on? And I always tell him, no, they're too small for me. So many of us now are getting out and about because um, life is sort of getting back to normal. Um, but during the tough time, we were asked to hashtag stay at home by our countries and communities. And many of you spent time at home with your families, teaching, reading, trying new recipes, working differently. But some of you may have been a little bored and discovered new and exciting ways of doing things um, and to keep ourselves ent entertained like this guy here. <laughs> All of us at USANA were inspired to see what all of you have been up to over these past several months. So we created a new segment, which is called Highlights from Home. This, you know, I'll go get jumping TikTok challenge is all the rage right now. Perfectly executed by silver director Tishi Ni from Malaysia. earth does she do that? Wow. 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 As you can see, Eugene Mateo, a gold director from the Philippines, really misses traveling. Yeah. Patrick and Yudi, builders from New Zealand, are busy training their newest preferred customer. I guess Malaysia gold director Carrie Yap got social distance from her harp and figures a staircase is the next best thing. Who says men can't multitask? Executive two-star diamond director Jasper Clorino from the Philippines just another day at the home office. Itzy Cortez, gold director from Mexico, is taking her stay-at-home workout to a whole new level. Check out this Game of USANA, home video from William and Jessica Yu, gold directors from New Zealand. Spoiler alert, Jessica gets the throne. And gold director V Yap from Malaysia shows how her team is perfectly synced to USANA. dad joke. Hey David, how about this one? So I made the mistake of telling my suitcase that because of the pandemic, we probably won't be able to go anywhere this year. Now you know what I got to deal with? A bunch of emotional baggage. How about this one? So I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not sure. And now it's time to check in with the other side of the world. It's my pleasure to hand over to Jeannie Price, who is our Executive Vice President of Sales for the Americas and Europe. Uh, Jeannie joined us um, boy, just under a year ago, and she's been phenomenal. She comes with a wealth of experience from across the industry and, and of course, has just been a phenomenal addition to the USANA family. And it's great to have her joining us today on uh, the We Are USANA video series. So. Take it away, Jeannie. 
Thank you, David. I'm so excited about uh, what we're doing and uh, just so thankful to be part of the uh, healthiest family on earth. But you know what's not just the healthiest, but it's also the greatest. We have from the U.S. One Star Diamond director Lucy Chen. Hi, everyone. And then we also joining us from Canada, we have Gold director Stephanie Packer. Hey, guys. And all the way from one of our newest open markets, Romania, we have bronze director, Marius Spiridon. Happy to be here. How are you guys doing and what is going on on your side of the world? Well, I can say that I've been having a blast with my business getting creative, showing up for this business in a, in a powerful way. And I personally love that we are so online right now because that is absolutely where I'm having the most fun. That's awesome, Stephanie. Thank you. My 11 years old girl, she's preparing for her first online concert right now. And I can't wait for her tomorrow's performance. Oh my goodness. You know, that is so on point because we, we forget that we're now doing right. People are homeschooling. They're, they're, everything is at home. So you're having to deal with different priorities along with your business. Congratulations on your daughter. I'm sure she's going to be great, but that's so real of what's happening. I'm curious to ask, how have you kept yourselves entertained during this time of quarantine? For me, uh, the, the USA, USA market provide us an online uh, fitness class. We call the U Fitness. So we have those exercises one hour every day, Monday to Saturday. We have a yoga, we have HIIT, we have a cha cha dance, we have a zumba. So engage with that, we actually create our own online uh, WeChat community. Right now we have over 1,500 people. You really feel the energy, feel the power, feel the fun from the people around you. That's fabulous. You're doing the workouts every day yourself, right? Yes, I do. Good for you, good for you. I did my first, well, no, it's like my third Zumba, but I love it. I'm just kind of getting, getting in shape. <laughs> you have to show me your ways. I'm so uncoordinated with Zumba. <laughs> It takes practice. I haven't done that in a long time, but anyway. <laughs> well, I'll go. Um, I've been using this time to get caught up on stuff and really doing the things that have been on my list for ages, like making my garden actually happen and planting vegetables and getting back to the, to the earth, and that feels really good right now. Oh, that's awesome. Marius, how about you? Well, there's one thing I can tell you for sure, guys. If someone would have told me two months ago that I need to sleep 12 hours a day for the next two months or I need to read 5,000 pages, I would just say forget about it. But here's this thing that just happens, just drops in from the middle of nowhere, and suddenly we're all at home. And we get to enjoy and catch up on things. And we get to recover and rest. And we get to get cultivated and, and work around the family things. For me, it has been a gift, really. You know, I, I just have to comment on that, that the gratefulness, it, and I keep on hearing this, not only from our associates, but, but friends and family. It's just, it was like a timeout to stop and just breathe yep. and reconnect with people, you know, reconnect with family, reconnect with your spouse, your children, and that is so precious. Being grateful means being grateful for something that's in the future never happened yet. We get to, to hope and to dream for a better future. And that's what I think empowers most people right now, is, is having their hopes up and aiming high. That's just the perfect segue, Marius. So my next question is, how have you guys adapted your business during the past uh, couple months? I'll say that, to be fully honest, I haven't had to do too much adjusting in how I adapt because I've built online for, for years and years. Yes, we are separated geographically, but we are so much more connected. So what I'm seeing is that although there have been some pivots, I do feel like it's, it's a place that um, a lot of us needed to adapt was to get you know, with modern building techniques and all that sort of thing. And I've just been, I've just been really loving this time and seeing new faces jump online and being able to support and connect with people that you might not otherwise be able to do that with. 
the natural beauty of our business is we are running a global online business. So I really don't feel that this uh, situation really impacts business a lot. Like say we have this online uh, exercise every day and we invite friends and the potential customers. We have fun together, but meantime, they get to know USANA is the healthiest family on the earth. And just say last week, we have uh, seven new associates enrolled through the exercise. And we have a spa par party online too as well. And we have over 500 people have the spa party together online and the people from all around the world. Yeah, and what a great way to build on our values, right? Especially the community. I, that's what I'm seeing right now is really our ability through this situation to really, really build on that value and creating that connectivity to the brand. And uh, that's awesome. Congratulations, Lucy. That's cool. When we go back to normal, whatever the new normal is, what is the one thing you've learned that you're going to apply uh, in the future as you continue developing your business? It's so important to set your goals and to keep your eye on the prize, but to be flexible and fluid on how you might have to approach that goal. So I feel like being an entrepreneur, we're primed to pivot and we have that mindset to adapt. Remember that setting the goal is key, but how I get to that goal might look a little different determining on the circumstances around me. Uh, for me, build a community, serving others. When you're serving other people, we get together, we can continue growing. Very insightful. So Marius, I have heard that you did something really unique and very cool during this period. Would you mind sharing that with us? I'd love to. So there's one of the leadership programs that I, I go with my entire USANA team right now, and it's called Be a Force of Nature. And one of the challenges I gave to myself was to run a semi-marathon, 21K. Every time I would reach the three kilometers, I would just stop and share on video what, what the impact is of USANA in my life. Every three kilometers talk about a different supplement. And that made a huge difference on the people that watched it. They started asking me, hey, how can you do that? And they started asking, I want to be on your team. I want to be close by you. I want to be, I want to inspire people. That's wonderful. Well, I just want to take this time to just let you know how grateful we are that you are part of USANA. And uh, you guys have just been fabulous. Thank you for all your, your wisdom and pearls of knowledge and uh, just wish you much success. I know you will. Your attitude, you just radiate passion and creativity. So more power to you. Thank you so much, Stephanie and Lucy and Marius for joining us today. Back to you, David. Here's another bad dad joke. Hey, David, how about this joke? Uh, why was the computer late for work? Because he had a hard drive. Next week, we're jumping into the champion mindset with USANA athletes, a segment I've really been looking forward to where we bring forth some of the great athletes that we're associated with. Of course, there are thousands around the world, both individual athletes and teams. We're going to witness an, an inspiring story of a USANA associate who lost her restaurant business during the shutdowns, but persevered with her USANA business. And we will continue with our highlights from home segment. So if you have a great video to share, send it to your market leaders and we'll take a look at it. And now let's check out Asia Pacific's top PC enrollers. Woohoo! Silver Director, Carol Fallaby. Gold Directors, Matthew and Ashley Malinau. Director, Anita Shivilija Monsanto. Executive Gold Directors, Lin Chuan Sia and Lin Quan Liang. Builder, Yoon Yong Kim. Emerald Directors, Aaron Teofilo and Mary April Beltran. 
Executive Gold Directors, Doreen Hong and Frederick Goh. Builder, Yuya Katsu. Silver Director, Prince Christian P. Mianagua. Director, Unhe Li. Ruby Director, Subsi Putam. Silver Director, Bon Jun Kim. Executive Gold Director, Li Vien Pang. Diamond Directors, Te Sung Kim and Sung Hee Lee. Executive One Star Diamond Director, Shingo Otsuka. Silver Directors, Maria Corporal and Laressa May Corporal. Achiever, Jun Song An. Achiever, He Son Lim. Gold Director, Su Ching Lin. Silver Director, Elizabeth D. Saguccio. Executive Two Star Diamond Directors, Zhuang Xiaoying and Winston Jaya. Ruby Directors, Roland and Inang Ko. Gold Directors, Lucita and Elmer DeJuco. Ruby Directors, Colonel Henry and Anne Bumiltak. Would you please welcome Asia Pacific's number one top PC enrollers, Helen, Susan, and Stephen Shi, Diamond Directors from Australia. Yay! Hello, neighbors. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's wonderful. It's great news. It's fantastic. It's been an interesting time to find and connect um, with new preferred customers, but how are you doing it and so successfully? Definitely learning a lot of new skills during this time, you know, especially it's usually we don't have, we don't go online and we have meetings in the home, yeah. but um, we had to learn how to use all the new technologies. Yes, that's been a big change. It must be very satisfying to be able to bring some quality solutions to people and particularly in a time of need. Yeah, we just try to answer the questions from our customer in time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and that's great. Sometimes customer question we have, we need to um, contact with the different uh, branch of the Sana company. So we try, we try to do it in time. That's Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. Well, well done again. Congratulations to each of you. Um, please, everyone, join me. Big round of applause. Yay! Well done. And congratulations on your number one achievement. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So that's it um, for us for today. Next week, we're actually going to get out of the house and we're going to wander around Sydney a little bit. Of course, it's the destination for our Executive Diamond Summit in 2021. So it'd be nice to show you a few highlights of where we're going to spend some time with our leaders from around the world in 2021. And of course, we're also going to interview our USANA ambassador and surfing champion, Flick Palmatier. And so it's going to be a really wonderful episode. And until then, have a great week. Cheers. We are USANA. Thanks for watching. Um, okay, it's Kevin coming back. What did the big bucket say to the little bucket? Just send him the answer. You look a little pale. Oh, goodness, that cracked me up. <laughs>